Couponing, it's a growing trend in the U.S., and now there's a TV show about it. Websites popping up all over the Internet. But is this money-saving trick really worth all the time spent? Haley Smith went to figure out exactly what it takes to save money on your grocery bill. The big question for shoppers who are looking to save a few extra bucks on their grocery bill is what is couponing and how does it work? What couponing is, is you're essentially using the manufacturer's cash to buy the items in the grocery store. They're going to be on primarily your name brand items. because of Amanda Duvall, an avid couponer, says she saved about 52% on her grocery bill, but that it did take a lot of time preparing for her grocery expedition. You may be wondering, does the money saved outweigh all of the time spent looking for coupons? We put it to the test. Joining me is the thrifty couple here. We each have 10 bucks to go in and see who can come out with more. We may have went into this challenge as equals, but we definitely came out on opposite ends of the totem pole. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a little bit of a difference between what we have in our cart versus what you have in your a cart. A big difference. Okay. But we have a little bit of bad news to tell you. Oh, did you guys go over? I'm sorry, we went under by a dollar. <laughs> this whole cart was nine dollars even, so here's your dollar back. I'm very ashamed right now. On the other hand, Nikki Weeks, mother of four, says between finding the sales, comparing ads, and printing the coupons, it just isn't worth it. Dietitians from Portniff Medical Center say if you coupon, use caution. I um, would encourage people to um, obviously buy the things that they are going to consume um, with an appropriate amount of time um, and making sure that people are getting a variety. So if you have a coupon for 10 boxes of something, making sure that you're still um, getting a variety of foods and a variety. If you notice, we have organic uh, carrots. We also bought organic cereal. And so there's healthier ways. There's good ways of saving on healthier options as well. Don't worry, there are some easier ways to coupon. You can try a couponing site like the thriftycouple.com. Somebody that doesn't use a website or the tools that are available, it can take them a very long time because, and we used to do that a long time ago. Um, we used to take the ad, match it up with any coupons we had, and it used to take several hours. Um, there are ways that you can do it now by using websites and tools and resources out there to cut your time by a, a huge fraction. And in fact, like a shopping trip like this that we did, um, it would take you probably about 30 minutes to make your list, get your coupons, and be out the door. Next step to saving a few bucks could be buying bargain brands. And for the most part, they taste about the same. Basically, nutritionally, there is no difference between generic versus um, name brand food items. It's typically um, just the cost. Most of those um, products are produced and packaged at the same plant. They're just packaged into different um, containers. According to the Private Label Manufacturers Association, when you buy store brand products from retailers such as Costco, Walmart, and Kroger, you can save approximately 30% on the average shopping trip. And lastly, make a list and stick to it. And so we have actually on our site have already compiled grocery shopping lists for all of the different grocery stores here in Idaho. And you can just see those lists, the ad in a list already. You can customize it. The coupons will tell you where the coupons are at, whether printable or in the newspaper, and you can just print it off right there. It literally cuts your time. Not to be overwhelmed by it, but just start small. Just With all of these options, there are plenty of ways to save a little on your grocery bill. Reporting in Pocatello, Haley Smith, KPVI News 6.